this week's Children's Museum of the Low Country segment. We are actually in the Children's Museum of the Low Country You're today. Here. I'm excited to be here. We talk about it every single week. Um, it's so nice being here, seeing all the kids, enjoying everything that you guys have to offer. And today we're talking about something exciting coming to the museum. That's right. I've been teasing it. Yes. But uh, our favorite exhibit of all of our visitors is Publix, the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So the folks from Publix came and visited last year and saw how popular it was and said, any way you could give us a bigger room? And I said, that's great because I was going to ask you if you would get in a bigger room because <laughs> we need this to be as big as possible. So we're kind of small downtown, but we're making the most use of every spot. And this, um, we're so excited Publix wants to partner with us on this. Yeah, and we're standing in this very room. The finishing touches are happening right now. Yep. When can we expect this to be open? Official opening April 27th. And we have a raffle going for um, the kid who's going to cut the ribbon. So very exciting about that. That's on social media, so just check us out. So if people are familiar with the older exhibit, what's different about this one? Well, it's a lot bigger, yeah. so that's a good thing. But all the things they love will still be here. But we're modernizing it because okay. Publix really has a lot of great self-checkout. So the kids are going to be able to experience that because probably by the time I'll say they're your age, um, Maybe there won't be anybody ringing up groceries anymore. Who knows? So Publix is pulling us into the modern era, even right here in the Children's Museum. And that's so much fun for kids, too. I know we've talked about it before when, you know, I was growing up. I know a lot of us had different things you could scan and, you know, pretend like you're at the register. This is so fun for kids. But also, how does this help kids develop and how does this help with their education? Yeah, I always joke that whatever Children's Museum I work in, I won't do it unless it has a grocery store because they can learn everything we ever want child, early childhood development to achieve can happen inside of a grocery store. So if you're itty bitty, you're sorting cans and that's the precursor to counting because you can't learn to count until you learn to sort. So we forget about that because we just remember knowing how to count, yeah. but that's an important step. And so you'll see the littles do that. The grocery carts help with the little ones just being able to walk when they're, um, we just uh, had a, um, a 16 month old in who was saying the carts help her walk. These yeah. were her first uh, un-mommy assisted steps yeah. or with the cart. So physical development. As you get a little bit older, there's social, social emotional development because you got to share. Yeah. Can't ram your cart into your friend. Got to right. learn those things, right? So, and then as they get older and they start to be early elementary school, then it's really fun because you're able to work the registers and really see what's going on. So parents, great area to teach kids. Um, anything that you're trying to reinforce at home, you can do here. And we talked about last week the importance of guided play. This is the best type of play, right? See, I'm, I'm remembering I, I know. It's um, impressive. Any tips on how to make the most out of guided yeah. play in here? Yes. Um, again, where your child is developmentally, you know, if we're if you're working on colors at home, great to be in here and go. You want them to sort because that's a math skill. Can you put all the red cans together? Can you name the yellow the fruits and vegetables? So a lot of um, that kind of thing, just like we were talking about in the guided. Instead of just making it a free for all, which you can do, that's learning and play as yeah. well. But the guided play is where we really see kids make the neural connections that help them develop. This is kind of just one of the changes that's coming to the Children's Museum. Anything else you want to say about what people can expect in the future here at the Children's Museum? Yes, I, I thank you for that opportunity because this is, um, we are trying to renovate the entire museum, but we don't want to close because, um, and the, my team here knows this about me, when I see kids at the door because we're closed, it kills me. Um, so we are trying to stay open through it all and people have been so amazingly gracious. Uh, about it and um, you know if we're closing too much to kind of knock the price down a little bit just to accommodate for that so watch our website but um, we will have everything open we can possibly have open and we're switching in new things to you know be a little bit different so we want to we're we're really committed to not closing unless we absolutely have to. Well, we're so excited to see the changes and the great updates that are coming to the museum. You can see it all happening. It's very exciting. Um, and the new Publix exhibit is going to be opening in April. Yep. Um, anything else you want to tell people about why they should come out? Well, if your kids ever came to the Children's Museum and loved the grocery store, this is the Mac Daddy in Charleston. So Charleston's newest Publix is opening at the Children's Museum April 27th. We'll be rare, raring to go and welcoming everyone. Awesome. Well, Karen, thank you so much. Thank you, Emily. Of course.